Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Southern California. Today is episode number 471. 471 shows, people. 471. Let's see who else is joining us tonight. Okay. Good, good, good. Here we go. Perfect. Good. No comments yet. Oh, that's not good. Let's see. Alan Goodwin, hello. Good evening, Alan Goodwin. How are you, everybody? Before we start, I need that quick hydration because Jennifer Marie Durst from Wisconsin is here and Becky Ottenberry is here. And let's bring the people from the other side. People from the other side, where are you? Here we go. Let's do this. Okay, and let's see if we can bring the people from the other side. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, that's people. People from the other side are joining us right now. Share. Okay, perfect. And let's go back to our TikTok people. Hello, Ken. Hello, Stisha. All right. Uh, let's see, Hazel. I have to see you guys, so I'm going to put this. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh-oh. Come on. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're coming. Oh, hey, that's not going to work. Okay, let's see who else. Dolores, how are you? Debbie Malone, welcome. We got uh, we got most of our uh, Louisiana people here. Becky Ottenberry, Nancy Matriata, how are you? Amy from Highland, hello. Vacation day tomorrow, I think. Hello, Maria Robinson. Thank you for joining us. Becky Voth, 4 plus 7 equals 1. Yes, there's an, another one missing. So let's see, where is Sarah? All right, Sarah, Naz, I got locked on the other side, but I opened the door. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. So good to see you guys. I apologize yesterday about uh, the podcast with um, Mac Powell. It was great, but the sound was horrible. So right now I'm paying an audio engineer to fix the sound so we can have the audio. Uh, so you can listen to it again. And... Um, so that would be a good idea to, you know, to fix it because he was great. It's a great interview. You know, he couldn't do anything with the sound. So I had to, you know, the sound on our side was fine, like always. But I, I don't know. So anyway, it, he was such a, a great, nice, graceful guy that, you know, we went ahead with the interview and then we'll fix it and put it on the audio. But thank you for watching it. Wisconsin, Grace, how are you? All right, let's see who else is there. Okay. All right, this is not what I wanted. Let's see. Oh, quarantine in Corona. I complained that I had no shoes until I met a man who had no feet. That's a proverb. I don't know who said it, but it sounds good. It says, I complained that I had no shoes until I met a man who had no feet. So if I'm sick, I go and sit in the emergency room in the local hospital. You know what? That makes you feel better when you hear people, ah, ooh, ah, they're feeling. You know what? I feel better about myself already. When I'm broke, I go to a bankruptcy court and sit and listen to the cases. Makes me feel better. If I have an argument with my wife, I go to divorce court and sit there and go, ooh, my marriage is great. When I'm depressed, I watch Dr. Phil, you know, but, you know, there, but there are shows, there's shows that people watch that makes you miserable. I, I don't know about you, but these shows make me miserable. When I watch American Ninja Warrior, I feel miserable about my health. I'm serious. I watch these guys. It's not like, oh, look how great they are. I feel I'm horrible. I watch the travel channel. Now I hate my vacation pictures. I'm like, nah, my vacation wasn't good. I watch the Property Brothers or Fixer Upper and I hate my home. I'm like, this Fixer Upper is better than my house and they're going to fix it. Oh, I watch Leno's Garage and I hate my car. 
I watch the Grammys and I hate my look. So now I only watch TV shows that make me feel better about my life. You know? So, like the Jerry Springer. Okay, here's just... <laughs> Good, if Alan and Becky, too. I need two witnesses, and they did. I think all our Wisconsin people are here. Do we have more than Matt and Grace and me? Yes, there's a guy that doesn't join much. He's a friend from Green Bay, uh, from Celebration Church in Green Bay. Uh, Ralph, I think. When I'm tired of eating veggies, I go to McDonald's and watch people burp. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's another thought. This is an old thought that I wrote, but I never think. You think, you think after you get married, you stop spending money on other women, right? You think once you get married, you stop spending money on other women. That was wrong. Not true, because ever since I got married, I'm spending money on Victoria, the lingerie lady, Mrs. Fields, Wendy's, Auntie Annie, Tiffany's, and Mary Kay. So, it's not true. If you're a single guy and you go, oh, when I get married, that's it, I'm going to save money. I'm, I'm not going to spend money on women. You will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I got a caring. Oh, angry. Oh, I got an angry one. Oh, I... All the funny emojis, but there was one angry emoji. I like most shows on TBN, but those vitamin sales tied to God are just weird. Well, I'm glad I stopped selling my vitamin. Uh, <laughs> I take them, but I'm not selling them anymore. I'm not promoting. James Blind, people, people, James Blind is here from Oregon. I'm looking for a ripe, but not too ripe cantaloupe. Can anyone here help? What is this, a uh, grocery market? <laughs> James, where are you going to find a camel? Most of our people are from Louisiana and Wisconsin. It's, it snows six months of the year in Wisconsin. They don't grow cantaloupe. Louisiana, all their cantaloupe has like spicy, hot habanero on it. What do you, <laughs> or it's blackened cantaloupe. You can't help you, buddy. Neil is here, funny Neil. Jen, how can I help you? <laughs> Look at Jennifer from Piggly Wiggly. Go to Piggly Wiggly if you have one. I look at my next door neighbor and see his new landscape, and we need to to do our front yard tomorrow to look nice. That's good. You're also spending money on Carol E. and Tally. You're right. <laughs> okay, I love Becky Ottenberry. Okay, it's it all depends on what state of mind you're in. Oregon. <laughs> Mr. Spatula is in Oregon. No, that's real James. I work in a grocery store. <laughs> I watched the court testimony of the Louisiana guy that escaped from Jeffrey Dahmer. Horrible. Did not make me feel warm and fuzzy. Oh, always on it. <laughs> Sarah's looking for you for a cantaloupe. She's in Oregon. She knows where all the good cantaloupes are. And okay, let's see. Recover from COVID with me. Join. Thank you. All right, guys. Last night I asked you the question. Uh, give me the worst name for a valet service. Give me the worst name for a valet service. But you guys, if you didn't, you weren't with us, you can still comment. Or if you remember something new. You can still comment on it. But here's the top 20 we came with yesterday. At Worst name for a valet service company. At number 20, at your own risk valet. At 19, demolition derby valet. At number 18, swap em valet. At 17, pink slip valet. At 16, NASCAR rejects valet. At 15, parole parkers. 14, oops, my bad parking. At 13, Barney's Bumper Car Valley. Number 12, Jesus Take the Wheel. <laughs> number 11, Sketchy Drivers. At number 10, Worst Name for a Valley Service Company, Junkyard Valley. At 9, Sticky Fingers Valley. At number 8, Cadillac Converter. <laughs> they steal those. At number 7, Dizzy Lizzy Valley Service. At number 6, Three Blind Mice Valley. At number five, missing key valet. At number four, did you check the VIN number <laughs> valet? 
At number three, Scratch and Dent Valley. At number two, Hide and Seek Valley. That was hilarious. And the number one, ladies and gentlemen, number one, worst name for a valet parking. The Lord has need of it, Valley. <laughs> Sarah was on last night, people. And that is hilarious. The Lord has need of it, Valet. How can you argue with that? DMV test valet parking. DUI parking lot. That's good. Ain't your driver, Valet. All right. Always, uh, let's see. Do it yourself, Valet. We don't drive stick shift valet service. Hey, Joey, how are you? All right. Let's see. Wow, I got number one. You did. Congratulations. Okay, people. Here's your first question tonight. First question of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, give me the worst name or a slogan for a playground builder. Okay. Worst name or a slogan for a playground builder. Let's see if I can get that. Okay. Okay, let's see if that works. Here, here. Okay, here we go. It worked. Worst name or a slogan for a playground builder? Can you see me? Is that from Rita? Let's see. No, I don't, Rita. Why is Nazareth Rizkala? Oh, shoot. Listen. I'm doing this as... Let's see. <gasps> shoot. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I apologize for those who couldn't see me. That's why. Okay, here we go. Worst name? <laughs> Okay. You guys are fast. Okay, hey Lacey, welcome. Hi Rita, yeah. Dinner with dinner time with Naz. Thank you so much, Joey. I honor that. I hope your dad is feeling better. We strip your gears, valet. <laughs> Babysitters are us. Recycled playgrounds are us. Windowless van construction. <laughs> Demolition derby. Boys and girls are falling down. <laughs> Take your chances. Eat my... <laughs> Bobby, you're getting one. <laughs> Good one, Bobby. That's funny. That is funny. Eat my sands, <laughs> Bill. Concussion Construction Company. Good one, Chris. Rosetti, how are you? Accidents waiting to happen are us. Pins... <laughs> Pins and needles, that's funny, Timothy. Timothy Fakhuri, how are you? Mr. Mr. Awesomeness. Bob the Builder, okay. Nobody builds it cheaper. <laughs> that's bad. Okay, let's see. Okay, what is it? Okay, here we go. Okay, Ollie Heron, thank you for joining Nobody builds it cheaper. Slip and slide. <laughs> Tetanus tremble grounds. That's funny, Nancy. The middle slides are back. <laughs> I hope not. Remember those? You used to get second degree burns and you're still stuck in the middle of the slide. No adults allowed. Head torpedo. Extra screws built. <laughs> How about Screws Missing Building Company? <laughs> In the army of an angel. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny, guys. And speaking of funny, let's all hydrate and share. All 132 people, please share this show. It's been a while since I asked you to share, so go ahead and share it. Come on, not gonna kill you. Okay. Let me do this again. Let me let me because 
yes, I'm going to do this and go back to it. Alrighty, here we go. And we're going to go to this. Okay, and we're going to do all the way live. And we're going to go live again. And that would be it. Alrighty, let's do it. Okay. Let's see. Head to be in the <laughs> crash test kiddies. That's funny. Tetanus testing site. Supply chain <laughs> problems are us. I don't know. I should be able to see Rita right now. Thinning the hair. <laughs> Cardboard slides. Rugrats are us. No, I don't see Rita here. Not your grandma's playground. Spin the kids and pick. Swings made with red vines. Formerly builders of the USSR. <laughs> Missing parts. Crash helmet required. Stairway to heaven. That's good. Bring your own insurance. Sign a waiver. <laughs> Ikea playgrounds. Oh, no. Oh, man. Concrete shelters and playgrounds are us. At your own risk playgrounds. Terror, <laughs> terror go around playground equipment. <laughs> Parents revenge. That's. We all fall down. <laughs> That's funny. We put duct tape on everything. <laughs> Gray hair maker, playground creatures. Not here tonight, but happy birthday. Leslie Norris Townsend. Yeah, it's her birthday. She's very funny. She was on the podcast before. She was Miss Louisiana, I think, for a while. Loose screws. Angry Adults, Bubble Wrap Playground Company. All right. Taylor Taran, NFR5, Darth P001, Tamra Jarba, Disciple, Disciple Art, Emily Burr. Thank you guys for joining us. The question is, give us the worst name for a playground builder company. Give us worst name or a slogan. For a playground builder. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. By the way, guys, to, to the video I put up today, last night, we put one up, John put it on TikTok, and it got 2,000 something so far. But today, earlier, a few hours ago, we put it on Instagram, and we're almost at 30,000, you know, views over 1500 likes so not bad not bad not bad okay let's see <laughs> uh, skin knees guaranteed broken bones makers we see saw nothing <laughs> we may or may not have the lowest playground building rate Shoots and ladder playground construction company. <laughs> Charter builders. Chicken and monkey pox free of charge. Left high and dry. Jungle gyms, monkey bars. The minute you write monkey, your, your comments are hidden. So I don't know why. I'm going to unhide Debbie and Bobby. They, hide, they hid it because you put monkey. I think monkey is one of those canceling words. Take your chances playground, mafia mayhem playgrounds, growing pains, guest sets, stay in swing sets. It's a jungle out there. We sanitize your kids for free. The floor is actually lava playgrounds and equipment company. Kicking and screaming playground equipment. ER visits almost every time. Kid nap and snap playgrounds throw up and down by rita <laughs> urgent care playground next door shifty shapes it's funny when carol was five years old i think six 
I don't know, five, six or seven years old. She was on the playground and she was just climbing up on the stairs, you know, on the ladders to get to the, to enter the playground to slide. And one kid was like bullying, like he was holding a thing and he goes, no, you can't come up. No, you can't come up. And Carol just quickly just said, hey, your mom is leaving. And the guy turned around and jumped down and ran. <laughs> and she just enjoyed her ride. I go, how did you think about that? I, she goes, I don't know, Dad. I just told him that. And he got out of my face. That was so funny. Let's see. Jeremy calls B44 and Tosh W. Come on, tell us. Worst name for a playground builders. Okay, Rita came up with the last one. Okay, let's see what's the last one Rita came up with. Barely go, <laughs> barely go around. Okay, snap, crackle, and pop, flip and flops, flips and flops, endless slide playgrounds, in league with the Band-Aid company, shifty shapes. That's funny, Becky. Shifty shapes. Ah, okay, let's see. Dizzy days. The new, it's a small word after all. Stranger danger playground makers. World War Three child training playground equipment. Missing children are us. Billy Hope. <laughs> Bush list of band-aids. You guys are funny. All right, Becky is on tonight. Becky both. Billy Hope. <laughs> Learning life skills. All right. Come on, TikTok people. Compete with Facebook people. Give us some funny answers too. Worst name for a playground maker or builder. Swinging in the sky. My brother Rodney broke his arm on a merry-go-round in Lusrine Valley Park. All right, poor guy. Peanut butter and jelly slides. Down and out. <laughs> broken swings and broken dreams. Okay. He hit me back first. <laughs> Playground. <laughs> he hit me. Seesaw sick. This reminds me of a Tim Hawkins act about playground equipment. Oh, I've never heard it. Swing your partner playground. I used to do a bit about, you know, how the playgrounds teach our kids, like hopelessness. Like, you know, whatever what goes up can, must come down. You know, when you swing, you're going back and forth and back and forth, and you're still in the same place. And the merry-go-round, you're still going around. And it's just, if life is like that, it's miserable. Fountain of Games. Fountain of Games and Worms. All righty. Bye bye slides. Merry go down. Made in China playground. Hello. Okay. Swing your partner playground. Seesaw slick. Yes. Let's see. Gravel area for children. Charlie bit my finger. Fun land. <laughs> Cruising for a bruising playground. Round and round she goes. Nobody knows where she's where she's gonna stop. Pick your kid is a pop. What? Unconscious. Lawn mower playground builders. Play on the bush, lawn mower, and break your arm like I did on my dad's lawn. <laughs> Climbing back up the slide challenge. Middle of traffic playground. Just the swinging playground builders. Okay, let's let's change the question on you, people. Let's change the question on you. The next question is, today, today is National Online Learning Day. Did you know that? Today is National... Oops. National Online Learning Day. So let's see if you can. 
give me the answer to. Okay. No, no, I don't want worst name. Shoot, no, no, no. Hold on, sorry. No, 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 no. Okay. Copy and let's go. And let's paste this and it's called, oh, come on. Come on, Facebook, be nice. Paste. Okay, what is something you won't want to learn online? What is something you won't want to learn online since it's National Online Learning Day? What is something you don't want to learn online? Love it. Downtown Portland. And, and playground. Downtown Portland. That's the worst playground, huh? We missed you, James Blind. Emergency room providers. Meet your fellow whiny kids here. Okay. Something you don't want. Brain surgery. That's right, Rita. Rita said brain surgery. How to drive. How to get online. <laughs> how to drive. Surgery. How to break a... F how to bake a fruitcake. Reading Braille. How to kiss. <laughs> Anything that won't help me. All right. What is something you don't want to learn online? Online. Or you won't learn online. No, I think you don't want to learn online. That would be better. Nuclear fusion, right, Joey? Because <laughs> everybody is learning how to cook online. They're competing with your job, Mr. Joey. Comedy, right. <laughs> wait, wait. Is that good or bad, Sarah? Karate. How to be the president of the USA. Rocket science. How to make my husband stop snoring. Oh, don't want to learn. Splitting atoms or autumn. Underwater basket weaving. <laughs> really? Is there a class for that, Joey? Who's, who's, who's teaching that? <laughs> what, sea World? Underwater <laughs> basket weaving. How to break internet addictions. That, that's a class. You don't want to read. <laughs> you have to be online for it, right? Fishing. <laughs> Okay, scuba diving, <laughs> you don't want to learn that. Well, maybe it's, uh, they should combine the class with the well, underwater basket weaving and scuba diving. Oh, Joey said scuba diving too. Reassemble of a Volkswagen bug underwater. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here comes the baby. The question is, what is something you don't want to learn online? Online? Yeah. Come say hi. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, can you, you have to say hi to people. Uh, Come on. Show me your face. Hello say hello there. Uh, they can't see you. Something I don't want to learn in life is in online. Huh. Hi. Hi. A lot of things. Swim with the sharks. <laughs> you know, how to wrestle an alligator. Ways to make your mother-in-law stay. I want to learn online, but not so. Well, that, that wouldn't be funny. It's a funny thing. How to make your own saber, right? Yeah. You don't want to learn no, that. No, online. I do want to learn You do want to learn that. Uh, how to escape, space travel. How to escape jail. How to escape jail. You don't want to learn that yeah, online. I don't really want to learn See, everybody say hi, Tally. Look. No. Uh, Bobby and Becky and Jennifer. And Any how, Star Wars fans? Any Never seen Revenge of the Sith? If so, hello there. Goodbye. That's it? Yeah. I'm sure we have a lot of Star Wars fans. She is growing so fast. She's 14 already. 
We still treat her like she's eight because we don't want her to grow. But she's growing on us. She is a big Star Wars fan right now. Huge. I think we all jumped on it. And you know, after 30 years, 30 some years in the country, I started watching Star Wars because of Tally. <laughs> and we're getting revenge of the set. Everything, every show, the cartoons, the animation, everything about Star Wars, we're doing it. You know, and she got me to buy her this Padme. Padme outfit and now for her birthday she wants to go and assemble a, a lightsaber at Disneyland which is way way too much money I mean I don't mind paying it if it's something that she can use or play with for the whole year I don't know like the last thing I want is Darth Vader in my house eyeglass repair high voltage power line repair truck driving how to catch a mouse. <laughs> Uh-oh, Sarah. Uh, that was from Rita, Sarah. How to milk almonds. <laughs> Gently. How to kick a field goal. <laughs> <laughs> Becky Voss is on tonight. She is <laughs> how to kick a field goal. That's right. <laughs> you can learn that online. Okay, time travel, how to ride horses, how to talk to people in real life, how to do your own root canal. <laughs> I, I tried that once. You, all you need is a drill and a water hose. How to ruin your ex's life. You can do that online. <laughs> Star Trek rules, Star Wars drool. Okay, I won't tell her that. Glass blowing. <laughs> How Ness teaches Dally how to drive. I know next year. Oh my lord. How to hurt cats. Forging iron. Did you guys know Maha till this day cannot see her kids drive a car? So whenever we go somewhere and they're like they're leaving like we're at a restaurant and they're going home or something, you know, to LA or somewhere, they we wait ten minutes or we leave before them because she cannot see them in a car driving by themselves or they're driving the car i made the lightsaber maybe because i taught him how to drive i made the lightsaber at disney spin spendy but man it was fun well that's good to know cole's got star wars legos oh that's right she never done the legos how to bay the cat <laughs> suing how to be visible on chats. <laughs> what are you talking about, Grace? Oh, because that's... Oh, you still remember. You're holding a grudge for me because I didn't see your name last time. All right, Star Trek rules and Star Wars rules. Here we go. Oh, I forgot you were on. Welcome, all. Prayers for all. You too, Sarah. Love you. How to make tiny houses. By the way, guys, I, I think I will be with you tomorrow. Because I'm going to, we have a writing session, me and Robert G. Lee, in the morning in Pasadena. But then I'm going to go see Sammy Malouf about 2 o'clock. So if I stay there for a couple hours and traffic is not bad, I'll be in here in, in time for the show. Friday, my show at Calvary Chapel, Westminster, was postponed. They didn't have enough people, unfortunately. I, I hate canceling stuff. This is like someone said, oh, your paycheck this, you know, this this time is going to be short, you know, 20 hours or something or 10 hours. It's like, really? I didn't plan on that, but it's okay. Uh, praise God, I'm in a place where I used to get so angry and so upset when they cancel the show. But now, praise God, I'm in a place where, ah, it's okay. God will provide. It's okay. So, anyway, no show on Friday. Sunday, I'll be in Los Angeles at the uh, LA, in the Heart LA, which is used to be a dance club owned by Jennifer Lopez. Now it's it's a church, but they're gonna. It looks like a club, so we're gonna do comedy. I have three young comedians up and coming, including my daughter Carol will be there. It's a free show. It is in Los Angeles on Wilshire. Go to laughterforall.org. Get your free ticket. Hmm. What else? Calvary Chapel where? 
It's cancelled. It was on West, in Westminster. Calvin, yeah, it was postponed. Hi, Delilah. She's not here. How to catch an alligator? You don't want to learn that online. Our daughters are our habibs, no matter how old they are. Our babies. I know. How to deep feather a rooster, stick it in the dryer. How to raise cricket. How to not burn popcorn at work. How to learn bull riding. How to make tiny houses. Let's see. Yeah. How to cure cat from getting into the dryer. God giving you more family time when he cancels the show. Amen. So Friday there won't be a show. I told Maha if the show is canceled, there's a, there's a Bible study in the evening that they do it in Downey. We might go to it. Why don't you let Sammy come pick you up, Naz? You'll get there quicker. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, West Grove. I used to work there. No, it's not in West Grove. It's, it, no, no, it's, it's called Calvary Chapel Pacific Coast, which is in Westminster. But the show was postponed, so I'm sorry. We are getting ready for big sales and pick season at work. Okay, how to invent... Our, I forget Amy's our newscaster. Uh, <laughs> our anchor. Amy, coming back, coming to you with the Live with Naz anchor. I'm Amy Alvina McLeanly. <laughs> Here's the news. We're getting ready for a big sale and pick season at work. How to invent the most talked about rooster on this on this show. How to invent the most talk about rooster. Okay, how to not fall asleep at church during a sermon. Not holding a grudge. Facebook has me invisible again. I'm sorry. I see you, Grace. Public speaking. We had a show planned for Westminster Abbey. You had a show planned for... Nope. How to do a launch countdown. How to drive in Chicago. Oh, no. All right, guys. It is 9.08. Did we hydrate and share at 9? No, we did not. All right. All 130 people. Hydrate and share. Can anyone actually drive in Chicago? Yeah, and when you drive in Chicago, all you have to do is roll down your window, stick your hand out, and just drop money every two minutes in one of those toll booths. I miss Rooster and Ruby. I didn't say hydrate and share at nine. No, you didn't, Bobby. Alan has been good at doing that, and because you has dropped the ball and the glass. How to find the Rooster a wife? He did. How to connect with more people in pr in person? Okay, not in prison. I need a paycheck, so bye. <laughs> how to find the perfect cantaloupe? Okay, how to fly? How to fly a hot air balloon? Okay, let's see. They're still around. No worries. <laughs> Drive an armored car tank while driving through Chicago. Right? How to walk in a crosswalk in New York? Oh, that's horrible. All right, guys, it is time for the Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book of World Record. Let's go to the Guinness Book of World Record. I'm going to give you three options, through three opportunities to answer without looking it up or Googling it. And if you win, this beautiful toilet paper is yours. Here we go. Today is National Pecan Cookie Day. We're back to food. How to spell and punctuate. Punctuate. How to make bootleg hooch. <laughs> hooch like they did in the old days. Okay. You're supposed to use crosswalk. How to enjoy fruitcake. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Okay. National Pecan Cookie Day, the most cookies baked in one hour, was achieved by Frank Skoa and Baking Memories for Kids in West Nyack, New York on December 7th, 2019, right before the pandemic. 
Baking Memories for Kids holds an annual holiday cookie sale, and this year they attempted the record, this record title in hopes of drawing attention to the sale, motivating volunteers and rewarding the community for their continued support. Okay, how many cookies did they make in an hour to make it to the Guinness Book of World Record? How many cookies did they bake in one hour? Over 5,000, under 10,000. Over 5,000, under 10,000. Give me your best three guesses. Come on. Best three guesses, people. Oh, folks, have a good night. Oh, good night, Joey. Love you, man. Say hi to the family. Poo cons, Louisiana pronunciation. Oh, it's not, it's not pecans, pecans. Okay, good way to pray through. <laughs> Try driving in New Orleans, ask my sister. Okay, oh no, now I have another thing I need to bake. Yes, food, one million, not yet. My dad learned how to drive in the snow in Chicago without chains. That's what he told you. And he walked to school uphill five miles each way, right? Make your own bidet in three. Easy steps. <laughs> okay, here comes the numbers, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, how to eat jello with chopsticks. <laughs> okay, James said 6548. Uh 86.69 for James. Bobby said seven no 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 over five thousand, Bobby. Over five thousand under ten. Sarah, fifty five hundred, seventy five hundred, ninety five hundred. Amy, fifty-five thirty-three. James Blind, sixty-eight twelve point four. <laughs> Becky Voss, fifty-two seventy-seven, eighty-two sixty-six, and forty-six sixty-two. Over five thousand, Becky. You have one more. Becky Ottenberry, sixty-nine ninety-eight, seventy-nine ninety-eight, and eighty-nine ninety-eight. Jennifer Marie Dirks, seventy-nine fifty-three, ninety-five thirty-seven, and eighty-seven fifty-three. Hello, 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 beautiful people. I just returned from church. Pastor Raul Reed says, Hi, Naz. Thank you so much. I hope his wife is feeling better. 7662. I say it that way too. May have some southern roots after all. Well, if you're in Louisiana. Oh, Sarah is in Oregon. Uh-oh, you can't be saying that. Okay, Mark. Nancy, 66, 67, 77, 73, and 87, 92. Dolores, 51, 77, 67, 53, and 78, 62. Bobby, 74, 90, 75, 75, 10. How to balance a wheelbarrow on your chin? Oh, yeah. The real question is how many would I eat in an hour after that? I think Matt fell asleep. I hear him listening, but I haven't seen him all night. My grandpa used to walk to school in the snow in Kansas, miles too. Yeah, all our parents lied about that. 66, 45, 68, 12, and 95, 53. Oh, no. Nope, I'm not in Oregon, but I used to be, think, a little further north. Washington, but you wouldn't come to a show in Washington. You'll come to... All right, 49, 95, 57, 50... And 65.75. Okay, one more try, Pancho. It's over 5,000. How to change the channel without a remote? Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for the winner. I think we're getting close. Do you like Seattle Seahawks, Sarah? How how to keep a tennis racket in midair by using drumsticks? We're actually two states above the Golden States in the upper left corner. <laughs> Okay, are you guys done with guessing? Okay, here's Catherine. 56, 78, 78, 90, and 8900. How to dial a rotary phone? Sold, sold, sold. 6125. All right, ladies and gentlemen, even before Mr. Poncho said his number, 
The most cookies baked in one hour is 6,018. 6,018. Before he even said the closest number, which is 6,125 to make him the winner, he also said 5,750, which made him the closest so far. And now, boom, he secured his winning with this beautiful toilet paper. Is first time winner, Mr. Poncho. Uh, we love you, man. This is yours. Next time I'm in the Fresno area, I would love to hand it to you myself. By the way, if you guys go to La Live with Naz family, you can see Michael Ramirez, Lily Navas, and Bobby Miller each have their own toilet paper sitting in the front row because I gave them VIP seating. And they were, I didn't see them, I didn't see the toilet paper until the sh the pictures came in today. I'm like, okay. All right, let's hydrate and share all 128 people and whoever is on TikTok right now. How to decide where to go for dinner when she's asked. Oh, no. This was a great picture. TP everywhere. Okay. Congratulations. Yes, love it. We'll meet you one day. Yes, sir. I'll be honored to meet you, Mr. Gonzo. Okay, what? How, where did they get that TP nest? I, I didn't give it to them. Trust me, they brought their own. You ask them. You ask him. <laughs> okay, here we go. What time is it? It's 9.18. We still have time. People, yesterday or Monday was... It was Name Your Pirate Ship Day. So, what would be the name of your pirate ship? Just so we know. What would be the name of your pirate ship, people? Okay, what would be the name of your pirate ship? If you have a pirate ship, people, I stole the Charmin. <laughs> Patches. <laughs> the crusty monkey. <laughs> and they made it hide. Let me unhide it. They hid it. No sinky. <laughs> I bet they got that TP out of the trunk of Nez's car. It was borrowed TP. Nope. They did not short John Silver's <laughs> instead of long John Silver. Funny, Rita. Keeled over. Patches, try again. The SS Glute. <laughs> that is so funny, Rosetti. That is so funny. Stink Eye, Drunken Sailor, The New Titanic, Scurvy Unlimited, Argahoy. <laughs> Michael shared the TP. Michael's always in need of TP. Can't you tell from his emojis? Scurvy Swervy. <laughs> oh. Hit again. Dirk's asleep. <laughs> the poor guy. He's tired. Over the bow. The plank, Rita said. All righty. Chips ahoy. Plank... Plankitis. Is that the inflamed plank? Plankitis. Skip ahoy. <laughs> Submarine. Alrighty. The SS Steel. <laughs> Undersailed. 
Give us words? No. What would be the name of your pirate ship? If you have a pirate ship, what would be named? Empty gal uh, galleys is to be a terrible pirate since I don't steal. <laughs> the rental. <laughs> oh, Pastor David, welcome back again. This is good. Empty uh, the Kraken. Water in the hull. Hook you. Hook you, Rita's. The drunk dodger. Ship ahoy. Cookies. The sinking ship. The rob and bob. Uber ship. <laughs> Gangbusters. Dry dock. <laughs> Under the sea. Captain Jack Sparrow. High hopes. Titanic. Okay. Good evening, Nazareth. Thank you for the tickets. My guests loved your show on Saturday. Awesome. Were you there or you didn't go? The Bobber, the Ark, Floater. Those are all names of your... What would the name of your pirate ship be? Yours is mine. The HMS Heckler. <laughs> A Screws Loose. SSS Swiss Cheese. <laughs> okay. The, this ain't the love boat. <laughs> Mermaids are us. That's funny, guys. Alrighty. Okay. Walk the plank. Was sailed. Bo buoyant? The rusty pelican. The IRS. You're terrified when they show up and they take everything you own. That's funny. <laughs> Come hither, ball brigade, under the rudder, piggy leg, <laughs> piggy leg. That's not a scary name, Nancy, for <laughs> piggy leg. Oh, right, the alimony. <laughs> That's a scary, the alimony. All right, sheets to the wind, row and stow. <laughs> I had a football game for my... Grandson, I did not attend. I'm so, no, that's fine. That's a good reason. Next time. Sunday, people. Sunday night at 6 p.m. Doors open at 5.30 at the Heart LA in off Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles. It's like a comedy club, but it's actually a dance club, but it's a church. So we can only see 250 people, and I think we have 200 seats already taken. So... Go to laughterforall.org and boom, get your free ticket. The last drop. Leg is my mother's maiden name. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, goodness, that's funny. Johnny Depp ship. The dockery. Salty bottoms. <laughs> okay, it is time for your prayer request. It is time for your prayer request. The Exus sinking ship. Wait, what are we doing again? Prayer request. That's what we're doing. Prayer request. If you have any prayer that you need. Oh, 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 guys. Where? In Los Angeles at the Heart LA of Wilshire. The Barnacle. Okay, guys, it's time for your prayer request. If you have any prayer... Uh, it's a sinking feeling. I didn't attend because my electric mobility scooter extension cord won't reach to LA. I understand. One day, you'll have the longer extension. And you can plug it in and make it. Anyway, prayer request. The ship, wait, where, what are we doing again? We are doing prayer request. Your treasures is our pleasures. The parley party, the pig leg. Okay, guys, it's time for your prayer request. Not prayer time yet, Naz. No doorbells. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> hey. 
Hey guys, remember remember the Remy Remington and Stella, the twelve year old who's having issues, and his three year old sister. And I need you to pray for the family. Serious prayers. The mom just had a surgery hysterectomy. I mean, can you imagine a mom that worried about her kids and they have health issues, but she has to do a surgery. She's recovering still. Remy is there trying to put a stent in one of the uh, veins that go to his kidney or, or or his liver. Hopefully that will fix his problem. Stella's cancer, you know, the, what do you call it? The cancer just grew big. It just grew. So it's in a place where they can't really go in and do surgery. So please, 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 this family needs your prayer. Bad. So pray for Remington. Pray for uh, Stella. And then the mom is Jen. Pray for Jen and pray for Aaron, the dad. Really, really, they're going through a trial time. So keep them in prayer. Cool bell, thank you. Okay, now it's prayer time. Thank you. Thank you for correcting me, Sarah. <laughs> All right. Unspoken for me, and I got an update from Maggie Jo that, praise the Lord, there is progress, but she's not all the way healed. So please keep uh, her eye issue in prayer. We will. Okay, anybody else needs prayers? Redlands in the Believe Walk on October. Redlands is the Believe Walk on October 2nd. Okay. Prayers lifted for family. Thank you. Yes, please. This family really needs your prayers. Pray for the show on Sunday. Do, 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 do. We can use prayers for my family. My kids can use prayer. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praying for you, Sarah and Maggie Joe. Whoever else, Bobby Miller's hands. Who else? Keep three nine prayer. Yes, yes, Amy, we will. That my work comp will approve for cortisone shot for my thumb that I have trigger fingers. It hurts a lot. The shot will release the thumb and pressure. We'll be praying for that. You can go to Mexico and get one. <laughs> Okay. Anybody else needs prayer? 125 people here. If you need prayer, please let us know. Always our family. Lots on our plate. Yes, Jennifer, praying for you, for Matthew, and for M, And for your living situation. We're praying for Joey Stilson, Dad. Nah, thank you so much for this show. It really has made such a positive difference in people's life. And it's such a blessing. Thank you so much. That means a lot. It's worth the time and to be with you guys and to enjoy it. And I feel bad when I'm not there. But when we're here, we love it. Thank you so much. All righty. All right. Thank you guys so much. You have a great night. Love you. Hopefully, I will be there tomorrow if I get back from traffic in L.A. on time. I think we will be on. If not, you can forgive me. But the show on Friday is cancel is postponed, not canceled, at Calvary Chapel, Westminster. And Sunday's show is still on, uh, the Laughter for All, Los Angeles, at the Heart, LA. Love you. Have a great night.